Hello and welcome to the Worm Unlimited Modding Spotlight and today we'll be looking at this cool Google Maps generator and how to set up and install it. As you can see here's the surface of Vindunia which is just the default adventure survival mode map but we've called it Vindunia. It'll create two maps, one of the surface obviously here and one of the underground so when you're digging in things you'll be able to see the map of that too. At the moment, the tool only works on Windows, but if you're feeling awesome, you can download the source code and edit it to work on your own operating system. Be sure to check out the links in the description to download the tools. So, first of all, we'll need to we'll need three things to make all this magic happen. The first is the Java Runtime Environment. Obviously, you just pick the one for your operating system. At the moment, I picked the Windows 64-bit one download and install that. The next we'll need uh, image magic and obviously you just download the one for your own operating system. We're on Windows so I just went ahead and downloaded this one and of course the generator itself which can be found on GitHub and you just download the latest one. I'm pretty sure the guy updates it regularly as you can see that was 27 days ago this was 23 days ago so keep checking back for the latest download and yeah i guess we get started once you've downloaded and installed and unzipped the generator you'll be presented with a file structure like this one here i've went ahead and made a new folder called generated maps now there's just one or two files we need to edit and that's the run.bat and the config.ini. You don't need to necessarily edit the run.bat, but I do for the very purpose of liking to see if there's any errors. And all we need to do is add pause in here, serve it, and close. And the other one that we need to edit is config.ini. And there's three directories that we need to input in the config and you can pretty much ignore this but these are just settings for the map itself like the max zoom and the default zoom and everything but anyway first of all the input directory now that is where the map is going to be so what I did is went over to women limited right clicked went to properties and then went, went over to local files, browsed the local files, and here we have the worm server launcher. And here's all of the maps. Well, uh, yeah, the maps that we've created. And I just went ahead and copied the guides one because I plan on doing some awesome guides. And went over to the map generator and just copy and pasted this in here. Go. And then we want the path of this. So we'll copy that and put that into the input directory. And then next we need the output. And this is the reason why I created the generated maps folder. So we copy this, put that in the output directory. And we also need the image magic directory. Now, it depends where you install this, but personally I put it on a different drive in the web drive because that's where all the web stuff goes and we literally again just copy this directory path. You don't need to set this up or anything. And we paste that into there. Save. Control S, sorry. For saving. And then we go back to our... We go back to the Google Maps generator and all we simply do is click run. Ta-da! And this will go off and generate our maps. We can also see its progress here. Woohoo! So once that's finished, you press any button to continue and that will close the command window. And we go to generated maps and we double click on the index.html file. And as you can see, we've got the surface map and the underground map. Click the surface map, go to index, and there it is. That's a fully loaded map. And we've also got the underground map too, just make sure that's worked. Yep, that's worked too. And that was that. 
be sure to hit the like button and share if you wish. Also, let me know your thoughts or questions in the comment section below. And until next time.